Happy Mennonite Heritage Week! My name is Jasmine and I am a Mennonite. Today I will be showing you how to make a Mennonite soup called Zama Borscht. Today I will be using a recipe given to my mom from my grandma. And this recipe is very special because it tells a story. You may be wondering, how can a soup tell a story? Well, let's start by talking about my people or my ancestors. About 500 years ago, some of my ancestors had to flee Europe because of uh, violent persecution. And so they, they fled to Russia, um, but they, they were in um, some very harsh climates there, so they kind of had to live off what they could grow. So in Zama Borscht, the ingredients are all actually very simple. Uh, like potatoes, for instance, um, can be grown very easily in harsh climates. Um, same with onions and... And that brings me to my favorite ingredient, sausage. Um, uh, pigs can be raised in very harsh climates, so then they, they were able to butcher them and uh, turn it into sausage and smoke them, which is a very good preservative. One of the main spices in this soup is uh, dill weed, which um, being weed is an invasive species, which is very easy to grow. So they took that invasive plant and turned it into soup. So as you can see, all of these ingredients point to um, how my ancestors faced a lot of hardship, and but but they made it the best of it. And generations later, we have this recipe born in poverty that is now my favorite soup. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing we'll do is we'll fill up the pot one third way full of water. Now we need to add the onion, salt, and dill. Now we need to add the sausage. Um, this type of sausage is called um, farmer sausage and um, well this time we bought it locally but um, sometimes we have uh, butchered our own pigs well not our own pigs but we have butchered pigs and then um, like made our own sausage um, but actually it's um, well in English it's called farmer sausage but um, my dad's first language it's low German and um, in low German it would actually be called Rukvarsh um, I don't like actually speak Low German, but I just kind of know the names of a lot of the foods. <laughs> so. so now we add the sausage and bring the water to a boil. So now that our soup has come to a boil, um, we have let it simmer for about half an hour and now we'll add the potatoes. And now we'll stir it around a bit just so that not all the potatoes are on top. Okay, so now we'll um, just wait for our potatoes to get soft and then we'll add our final ingredient. Now that the potatoes have gotten nice and soft, we can add the sour cream. My grandmother's recipe uses normal sour cream, but other Mennonites use other cream or uh, sometimes buttermilk. And that, my friends, is how you make some of Borscht. 
Happy Mennonite Heritage Week.